Hi everyone. Today I am with Gio, who is scratching his head, and we're going to talk about things we should and we shouldn't do on on FaceTime. Go, you first. Okay, number one, you should never FaceTime with a low battery. The last thing I ever want is when I'm FaceTime with my girlfriends for her phone to die, which happens a lot. I don't want her phone to die. Always charge your phone before her FaceTime and have a full battery or have it plugged in. It's just common practice. It's nice. It's not... Uh, anyways, that's everything. <laughs> you have to say that I have improved, though. However, yes, yeah, she has improved in, in a few months, a uh, few weeks. Uh, she's only let her phone die once, which is pretty remarkable because... Her record before was pretty bad. It would die at least like twice a day. And I'm not even joking. That's true. While <laughs> FaceTime. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Number two. You should mute yourself before screaming because nobody wants to blow their ears out. There you go. Number three. Never check your text while you're on FaceTime. It's just rude. Huh. Yes. <laughs> it's true. Never do that. Number four. Don't lay on top of your mic because depends on the mic you have, you can hang up the call. <laughs> Number five, never have conversations with other people. If another person walks into the room, excuse yourself before talking to them. It's just, it's just polite. Number six, you should not pause or close the app without warning. That's it. Number seven, don't breathe hard on your mic. <laughs> yeah. Number eight, don't randomly hang up on your significant other no matter how upset you are. I think that's for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Number nine, never answer a FaceTime call unless you're truly ready to answer the FaceTime call. Nobody wants a busy person on the other line when, when you're talking to the significant other or when you pick up the phone. It's just it's just common practice or it's just better to answer the phone call when you're ready to talk to them instead of having to make that other person wait when you answer the phone call. Mm-hmm. Especially okay. because the other person cannot be part of the conversation. It's going to be like this, waiting, waiting, waiting. Yeah. And number 10, you should record your face and calls because it's very nice to keep that moment. Forever. It's like taking pictures in person, but because you're far away, you can record it and watch them later. That's the list we have so far. Comment below if you think we missed something. And don't forget to like it if you enjoyed <laughs> and subscribe. Yes, if you have any other ideas, uh, make sure you subscribe down below. Let us know in the comments of what uh, what you guys have experienced in FaceTime that you didn't like maybe something that's happened to us and we didn't think about just comment below and uh, maybe we'll do a part 2 with uh, your suggestions yes, make sure you subscribe because we're going to upload videos every week so see you next week bye, bye. number 2 <laughs> number 2 you should you, number 2 you should number 2 you should Number two, you should mute yourself before screaming because nobody wants to blow your ears out. Take five. <laughs>